Today we're talking about The Sims, Hollywood, and Jeff Bezos. Hello and welcome to Ibble Bits, the show that keeps you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Let's get rolling. Ivy League schools announced on Wednesday that they will be placing all sports on hold. A statement put out by the league's school president said, with the information available to us today regarding the continued spread of the virus, we simply do not believe that we can maintain an environment for intercollegial athletic competition that meets our requirements for safety and acceptable levels of risk. The schools are being heavily criticized for, quote, overreacting from their own players and coaches, and it remains to be seen whether other schools will follow suit. The decision is not too surprising as the league schools have large endowments that allows them to remove the money aspect from their decisions regarding athletics. Is the president completely immune from a grand jury subpoena? The Supreme Court doesn't think so. A grand jury subpoena for eight years of President Trump's tax returns was filed last year from New York District Attorney Cy Vance Jr. as part of an investigation looking into payments made to Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal, both of whom claim to have had affairs with Trump before he took office. Vance said the ruling is a, quote, tremendous victory for our nation's system of justice and its founding principle that no one not even the president is above the law, end quote. It turns out that a pandemic can't stop some people from making movies. Actress Zendaya and actor John David Washington secretly started and finished production for a movie called Malcolm and Marie. The production took place in Carmel, California from June 17th through July 2nd. The cast and crew followed safety guidelines by taking multiple COVID tests, conducting temperature checks before and after shifts, and limiting the number of people on set to 12 at any given time. The film is reported to be addressing timely social topics but does not yet have a release date. Hashtag RIP Jeff Bezos became a trending topic on Twitter Wednesday. The billionaire Amazon CEO has been under scrutiny for poor employee treatment during the coronavirus. It's unclear why the hashtag was started, but some people believe it could be due to a few bored internet users. Some were confused at the hashtag and some used it as an opportunity to create memes, of course. Batwoman has found a new lead actress. Javicia Leslie will be putting on the cape starting in season two of the TV show. The change comes after Ruby Rose unexpectedly quit the role of Kate Kane in May. Javicia says, I am extremely proud to be the first black actress to play the iconic role of Batwoman on television. Producers say that the new Batwoman will be nothing like Kate Kane and not your typical all-American hero. Uh, I cannot wait for her appearance on the next generation gaming consoles. Who can create the best Sims world? There's now a reality TV show coming to TBS called The Sims Sparks to help us find out. Contestants will be tasked with a particular goal and a panel of three experts will judge their creations to award the grand prize of $100,000. Lindsay Pearson, GM of The Sims franchise, says the show will be similar to Top Chef or Project Runway. The tasks are designed to make players think and play differently and will reward those who are good at building, creating characters, or telling stories. The four episode series will start July 17th and air on TBS Fridays and Saturdays. That is a wrap. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trend. Thank you for tuning in, Dibble Bits. We'll see you later. Goodbye.